What's up nail friends? Today I have this super pretty long stiletto set I did on myself with color changing acrylics. How cool is that? So let's just jump into it. And first I'm removing the crystals on my last set. To watch that video, you can click the top corner here. I got good feedback on the set, so you guys might enjoy this one too. So now I'm just removing as much bulk as I can. I'm using a different bit than I normally use. It's still a cone or flame bit. It's just ceramic. I actually find it a little bit more dull than my regular bit, so I don't know how much I really like it or that I will use it, but I was just giving it a go here. After I've debulked these nails, I'm just taking a fresh hand file that I've scored the edges of. This is a 100 to 180 grit and I'm just fixing my shape and making it pointy again. Cleaning off all the dust and then pushing back and scraping this cuticle skin off my nail plate. Then I'm just taking my cuticle bit to go around my cuticle area to get off any of the skin that's stuck on the nail plate because cuticle skin will cause lifting. And then I'm just using my hand file on the 180 side to take away the shine. To prep my nails, I'm using Ugly Duckling Prep. This is just a pH balancer and dehydrator. To bond and prime my nails, I'm using Elite Power Base. This is my favorite bonder, and I'm just using a tiny micro swab to apply it. You can get these on Amazon. Using NV brand clear acrylic, I'm applying a thin layer on all the nails that I'm going to be applying a full color on just so that next time I go for a fill or if I decide to take these off, it's just going to protect my natural nails. For my extended nail bed color, I'm using CJP Birthday Suit. This is just a really nice cover pink. I used this on my last set too. I just really like it. I'm kind of getting low on it actually. I should probably buy some more. But anyways, I'm just applying this close to my cuticle area. I'm just using a number 10 brush here and then I'm just dragging it down the nail because I was finding it hard to work with right now for some reason. I think my room was a little bit cold or something so it was kind of runny. And then I'm going to build up right where my smile line will be with a second bead. I did that on both my ring and thumb, and then I'm just gonna let that dry before filing into it. So I'm using Glam & Glitz Mood Effect Acrylic in Indie Skies. This goes from white when hot to kind of like a periwinkle color when cold. So I'm just applying this on those three nails that I applied the thin layer of clear on, but right now I'm just applying a super thin layer of this, and then I went back and applied it a little bit thicker because I just find it wasn't covering all of the color that was under there before, and uh, my room Room, like I said was cold so I was just having to wait for it to dry a little bit so that's why I move on here and you see me working on another finger and then I'm just gonna go back and apply more on those nails too After all three of those nails have dried, I went back and applied a second layer just to fill it in and make sure it was full coverage. Glam & Glitz is best worked with wet and in more of a painting motion than a padding motion. Mm -hmm. 
So here's how the nails look. And now that those smile lines have dried, I'm just taking my 100 to 180 grit file and going over the smile line to make it nice and crisp so that when I apply my color, it has a nice ledge to kind of push up to and have a nice smooth and even smile line. So I wiped off all that dust and now I'm just picking up Indie Skies with the very tip of my brush and just pushing it up into that ledge that I've created with the smile line and not really going over it because I am going to encapsulate this entire nail. So now I'm just fading Indie Skies down the nail. I don't want this nail to be fully covered in Indie Skies because I do like having a clear tip. So I'm going to leave a little space at the end so I can apply some glitter. But before glitter, I just wanted to make sure I got Indie Skies all the way up that corner up there and you don't want to leave any, of a, any space or a gap or anything. And then I'm just cleaning off anything that overlapped onto the cover pink so that it's nice and perfect and has a nice sharp clean line. So here's how they look so far. Time to add glitter. I'm adding Platinum Pearl from Glam and Glitz. This is just a nice chunky holographic silver. So I'm applying this near the tip and then just kind of fading it up one side. On the other three nails, I'm applying it right at the cuticle area and sticking to one side and just kind of fading it down, keeping it nice and sparse, not too chunky, not too much in one spot, just kind of fading it and using the monomer to move it around and make it exactly where I want it. And I just, yeah, just kind of abstract, nothing too crazy, nothing too uh, structured, just uh, placing the glitter where, where I want it, you know, in the corner. Here's how they look so far, but I just needed more glitter. So I'm using Beauty Big Bangs number three flakies. And I'm just picking them up with some monomer and clear acrylic and just placing them around that silver. I, I really didn't like the look of putting them on top of the silver because they kind of take up whatever colors underneath. So on top of the blue, they look sort of pink, but when I put them over top of the silver, they turned out kind of green. So that's why I'm just putting it around it and not right on top. So I encapsulated these nails with my NV brand clear acrylic and monomer and I'm still using the same brush and I just want to start right at the tip because if you guys saw my last video, I always have problems breaking the tip by not making it thick enough so I wanted to make sure to start at the tip, making sure to get enough product there before building up and building an apex and encapsulating this nail.
So here's how they look after they've all been encapsulated. And now I'm just going to hand file using that same 180 slash 100 grit file. And I'm gonna go around the sides and make sure it's nice and pointy. And then I'm going to rough up the surface and debulk the nail. I decided not to sit here and try to explain what I'm doing because clearly my camera angles were kind of off and blurry. So basically I'm just hand filing these and if you guys want to see more hand filing, check out my acrylic nail tutorial playlist for more videos of me doing that or just skip ahead. Okay, so here's a side view of that nail, and now I'm just taking a white buffing block and just buffing these nails. Then I'm gonna wash my hands and then come back with nice dry nails, and I'm using my Kira Sky base to apply these crystals that I got from Crystal Princess, and you can use my code located right there on the screen for a free pack of crystals when you spend over $30. And the colors I'm using here are the peach. I think it's called, it's so pretty, it's kinda like, a gold but it's like a light gold so it goes with everything I just I just love it I thought the contrast would be really nice so I'm just applying these with my ugly duckling blinger tool and just creating a little pattern on both my ring finger and my thumb and then for top coat I'm using my Kira Sky no wipe top coat and I just love the way it looks when you apply it on top of glitter and everything comes to life and it comes all out and it looks so pretty. So you wanna apply this around your crystals and not on top of them because Swarovski crystals have a specific look to them and you'll ruin the shine if you apply it on top. So just apply it around it and yeah. I gave that a full cure in my Kira Sky lamp, and here's the finished result, going from periwinkle to white. So one hand here is white when warm, and one hand is periwinkle when cold. So I took my nails outside because it was snowing, and I wanted to show you guys a side view because that was requested in my last video. So I hope you guys like this set. Let me know down below what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Keep your nails long and your glitter strong. Thank you.